What is up YouTube? Welcome back if you are coming back to the channel. If you are, you would know that we installed the A-Spec front lip in the last video. And in this video, we're going to be doing the side skirts and the rear lip. We're getting rid of all the Mugen stuff that I put on previously. As you can tell, I actually don't have a Mugen rear lip on the back of the RSX right now. So I guess a speed bump already did me a favor of taking it off. Just so everyone knows where I'm coming from, the side skirt just looks like it's sitting so much lower than the rest of the car in the rear and I just I don't love the look of that so with the uh, a spec side skirts it's going to look a hell of a lot better I should really buy some jack stands because this is always really sketchy, but I don't know. I always put like the wheels underneath because I guess that'll protect me a little bit more. But yeah, I mean, should definitely invest in some jack stands. I actually think what I'm going to end up doing is installing this guy first. I just think it's going to be the easiest possible thing to do right now, just because of the way the car's sitting. Uh, so yeah, let's install the rear lip first. I thought this was actually gonna be the last thing to install. But let's install this first before we go ahead and install the uh, A-Spec side skirts. All this stuff came from aeroworks.ca. I'm not sponsored by them at all. This isn't a sponsored video at all, but all this stuff did come from there. I always leave the links down below. Uh, so if you do uh, wanna check out their page or if you wanna check out any of this stuff, the link is down below. And uh, yeah, let's get this installed and go from there. BMW wheels. So we'll shortly have an answer of how this fits without any modifications and uh, let's uh, put this on and see what it's going to take to get it to fit perfectly or see if it fits perfectly from uh, AeroWorks. Alright, so now it's another day. I was struggling really hard to get the uh, A-Spec lip onto the uh, rear bumper and it's because you have to take the rear bumper off and actually trim up the rear bumper. So let me show you guys like how to trim up that rear bumper and I don't know, let's get started on this. So see you guys soon. All right, so here's where I'm at. You've got to cut these corners off here because the lip is too wide for this area and this obviously isn't wide enough. So we're gonna cut off the corners and then see if it fits and go from there. So you will be using a grinder and always make sure to have your uh, safety glasses on. Let's get started. Well then, cutting into that made me a little nervous because it's obviously a stock bumper and I've never really cut into anything on this car. So let's see how the uh, A-Spec lip fits and hopefully it fits well because I just cut up a OEM RSX bumper. Oh man, that makes me sick.
The bumper seems to be cut up pretty nicely, but it's not fitting because I need to trim this little piece on the inside. So all I'm gonna do is take some sandpaper to it and just knock it down just a little bit, and then it should fit just perfectly on the bumper. it up really really well I know this is never gonna be seen but you always definitely want to make sure that it looks absolute best it can especially when you're going with knockoff parts like what I am uh, just because the, these don't fit perfectly there's tons of trimming cutting and uh, just sanding that you're gonna have to do to get them to fit perfectly but yeah as you can see I, I went through I sanded this down with the uh, with the sander it looks really really good but now it's the moment of truth how well the aeroworks.ca lip fits on the rear RSX bumper. So this is where I was having the issues lining up with the uh, exhaust hole is you want to make sure that you can only see the plastic none of the shiny black fitment looks great there too and now it's time to get this bolted on and um, see what it looks like on the car all right so there you have it the uh, a spec rear lip is finally on the back bumper uh, i put two bolts underneath of it and then I put two bolts on each side. But fitment overall is actually pretty nice. I mean, there's some spots that are, you know, that could be better, but it's what we expect when we're buying, you know, parts for a third of the price of the, you know, the original ones. So I'm not like too terribly upset about that. Plus I can get that fixed for sure. Um, but yeah, overall it fits really nicely. I'm, I'm super excited about it. And uh, let's get this on the back of the RSX finally. And get The rear bumper is finally on the RSX. I haven't seen it uh, back on the RSX for seriously almost like three days now. So it is kind of refreshing to see that for sure. The A-spec lip is on the back too, obviously. And now it's time to move on to the A-spec side skirts. These do not go on like the factory ones. There is nowhere to put any of the hardware from the factory on these. So you will have to just drill them in or find some other way to get them on. I ended up just drilling them in and hopefully what I'll end up doing later on is uh, maybe doing like some, I don't know, like some rivets or something like that on them. But uh, right now they're just drilled in with, with self tappers. But honestly, they look really, really good. Uh, they fit really, really nicely so far, and it's probably the easiest part that's gone on from the whole entire kit, and there's like no gapping whatsoever on these. So these are actually really nice. These are the ones I really, really recommend. The rest of them, if you're not looking to trim anything up, uh, I wouldn't do the rest of them. Maybe just the side skirts.
All right, guys. So there you have it. The full A spec kit, A spec kit is on the RSX. It was a pain to install. I'm so glad it's finally done. But I am just absolutely in love with the way the car looks. It's a really nice difference compared to like the Mugen stuff that I had on it before. Uh, but make sure to like the video, guys. Comment down below what you guys think of the A spec kit. Comment down below what else you guys want to see done to this car. And definitely subscribe to keep track of what's going on because there is just more and more to come. If you haven't watched any of the other videos, I have mentioned that I am going to be painting the car. So I know I scratched the bumpers up like crazy, but the car is going to be painted, so it doesn't really matter. Thanks for sticking around to the end, guys, and I will catch you in the next one.